Let's now talk about rename operator. This operator is used to rename name of one field to another. Let's look at a syntax. Just rename and then field name you want to rename and as a value you pass new name of the field. Of course, as a string. Let's look at an example. In this example, we are looking for documents where a card ID field exists and then use rename operator and rename card ID to order ID. And after comma, you see next line. Another field we will rename to another name. And you see option multi true because we use here update method. In this example, if documents with card ID field will be found, this card ID field will be renamed to order ID. And if another field exists in some documents, then this field will be renamed to another name. And note, if field is absent, nothing will happen. It means that if some documents don't have another field, then this operation will perform nothing. So just card ID will be renamed to order ID. Ok, let's look at this in action. Let's go to find and let's execute default query. So here we get 5 documents and some of them have card ID. So document with index 2 has card ID and document with index 4 has card ID. Let's rename card ID to order ID just for those documents. Ok, let's go back to update tab. Here we will remove unset part, just delete it. Here we will find documents that have card ID field, so card ID exists true. And then we will use rename operator and rename card ID to order ID. And remove here the rest. Like this. One more thing left, we need to change update1 to update many. Or use update with multi true option. Let's use just update many. And let's execute this. Oh, sorry, I made mistake. Just double quotes here. Command enter. Now operation was successful. Matched count 2 and modified count 2. Let's go back to find. And execute query again. And here it is. Card ID was renamed to order ID. And you see that order ID field was placed at the end of the document. Remember that card ID was here after the card. That's because MongoDB behind the scenes first removes field and then adds it back. Let's go to the document with index 4 and see same picture. So order ID was placed at the end and card ID was removed. Ok, let's go back to update and rename fields back. Just order ID on the left side and card ID on the right side. And here change query, order ID exists true. And let's execute it. Let's go back to find. And here is the result. Now we get back card ID. Here and here. Ok, let's go on and talk about dates. There is a special operator that is used to set current date. And it is called current date. See you shortly.